Alrighty, thank you for joining me. We're doing Let's Play number three. Back with Zori. Research and destroy. Hey, you chose the Priory. Get out there and show them what real smarts look like. Welcome, Centurion. Or rather, novice. We've got the undead detector and the reagent to destroy the dragon crystal. Now that you're here, we'll begin. Hold on. The Vigil insisted that you wait for them, and I agree. Without backup, you people are vulnerable. I see no reason to delay. We have what we need, and our problem gets more dangerous with each wasted moment. All right, but I'm coming with you. I'd rather have a full Vigil squad with us. But if the Centurion has no objections, we'll move out. No objections, sir. I'm ready. We'll find the crystal and destroy it. And if we're lucky, we'll also find how. Then we're all agreed. Now let's show my peers how effective our newest novice can be. Alrighty. And here we have Havold Brazen, or what's left of him. Hal, can you hear me? Do you understand? Give me a sign that you're still you, or I'll have to... Look, just say something. Hunger! It hungers! We hunger! He's gone, Centurion. The corruption's got him. That's not the soldier you knew. Yeah, and this thing insults his memory. 
Hal was a good soldier, and my comrade. I'm not leaving him like this. You did the right thing, though. At least now, he's at peace. You've done well so far, but now you die. Die and live again as my slave. <laughs> Congratulations. Despite a few hiccups, it turned out well. Your comrade is at rest, and we stem the undead tide. For now, the Orion Dragon won't be so easy. And it's making enough undead to flood the entire world. If the dragon is the problem, then we need to treat it like we did the crystal. Destroy it, and we cut off the flow of undead at the source. That is the ultimate goal, but we're nowhere near ready. We don't know enough to devise and execute a winning strategy. Don't tell me about Dragon Scholar. Ever heard of Destiny's Edge? I was a member. We nearly took down an Elder Dragon all on our own. Then share that experience. We have to pool our knowledge if we're going to defeat the Dragon. You're right. The Char can't do this alone. Fortunately, I heard from one of my old guildmates. She wants to meet in Lion's Arch about that very thing. Lion's Arch is also your next stop, Recruit. There's a priory contact waiting with your first official mission. It's been a pleasure working with you. Good luck. I'll keep an eye out for you in the city. If we're lucky, we'll get another chance to fight together. Do the Legion's proud soldier. Dismissed. Alrighty, back to Lion's Arch. Alrighty, and if anyone's wondering, this is what the original Lion's Arch looked like before Scarlet's War. You can always find more about that on one of Wooden Potatoes videos. He can give you an in-depth uh, history lesson on that.
Welcome, fellow members of Destiny's Edge. We must speak of the threat of the Elder Dragons. When I agreed to come, I didn't know you'd be inviting this char. I could say the same for you, human. Finally crawling back for forgiveness, Logan. I've done nothing that needs to be forgiven. Logan, Ritlock, enough of your squabbling. Kaith, I doubt that we can unite again. Not after our last mistake. The Norn's right. When heirs to Gawkin makes mistakes, people die. Is that what you think, Soja? That what happened was my fault? Please, all of you. Our time has come. We must help the Orders. We have fought the Elder Dragons before. And lost. Because someone couldn't keep up with us. You have something to say, say it to my face. I would if you weren't always running away. I should gut you and be done with it. Gut me? With what? That human-made sword you looted from Ascalon? I've had enough. We're done here. Running away again. Ritlock, you're just making it worse. Ha! Look who's talking! Logan's right, for once. I have more important things to do. I'm done with this. And I refuse to waste my efforts on cowards and fools. Goodbye, Keith. It's sad to see Logan and Ritlock argue. If only there was something to bond them together. Yes, I know it might help. Keith, I have to leave as well. I fear this meeting was a mistake, but maybe I can fix it. We failed, then. Failed to bring Destiny's Edge back together. We cannot help the others. How can we help Tyria? And I get a key for me. Alrighty. This area is very popular with the children. <laughs> All right, let's see what do we got here? Magister Siren, I'm excited to meet you. You must have wonderful stories to tell. I can't wait to hear them. I've been assigned to escort you to the German Priory, so meet me by the Black Lion Trading Car Company HQ in Lion's Arch. We'll get started on a grand adventure, Siren. Alrighty. Dredging up the past. Meeting my mentor.
And again, we're back in Old Lion's Arch. This used to be the old bank where you would go and trade. The Dermond Priory is a bastion of history, containing the collected wisdom of the ages. For 200 years, we've stood upon a foundation of lore, research, and exploration. When Lion's Arch was flooded by the rise of the Nation of War, our forebearers rescued the city's survivors. Knowledge that would otherwise have been lost. Now, as the dragons ravage ever greater expanses of Tyria, we must do even more. We must discover the truths that Tyria needs to survive where the dragons came from, why, and how to end their threat. The Priory is dedicated to war. Siri, one of our most cunning scholars, will provide tutelage to help you gain wisdom that you need. Dermond, our founder, said it best. Your power is only equal to the sum of your knowledge. If that's true, then we're Tyria's best hope to survive the darkness gathering on the horizon. Welcome to the Dermond Priory. You are. You must be the new novice I was sent to retrieve. I'm a magister of the order, but we don't need to use titles. Just call me Siren. Happy to meet you. I'm looking forward to working with the German Priory. It's nice to see that you're enthusiastic. I know I'm supposed to take you straight back to the Priory, but I'd like to take a little side trip. While I was waiting for you, Explorer Kecht was telling me this really interesting story about an old dwarven tomb. And guess what? It's right on our way. I'll still take you to meet Stuart Gix at the main Priory building, but I want to have their fun first. Magister Siren, you're <laughs> not listening to me. We don't even know if the story is true. What if this tomb doesn't even exist? What if it's just a legend? Oh, Ket, stop being a spoil sport. If I ignore this, those skulky dredge might find the tomb first. And how would that turn out? They'd destroy it. Come on. It won't hurt anything to go look around a bit. The novice doesn't mind, right? Exploring an ancient tomb on my first day in the Order? Sounds fun. I don't mind at all. Then it's settled. I'll meet you at Molent Summit, novice. Don't keep me waiting, okay? Alrighty.
that helps not to try to run into the wall, doesn't it? Lunar's Pass. Now we can just fast travel when we get done here. Alright, let's try spring into this area. Dredging up the past. Look at these glorious snow dusted mountains. I love the Shiver Peaks. They're so magnificent. Can you believe the ancient dwarves thought this was a good place for a tomb? It feels so alive. Such a strange choice. It's beautiful, but I'll admit, I don't know much about dwarves. What's so interesting about this tomb? The dwarves are almost extinct, but in their time, they knew a lot about the dragons. The Priory studies dwarven tombs to learn as much as we can. This tomb's completely unexplored. If there hadn't been a little earthquake, it would have stayed buried beneath rocks and ice. Kecht's old scroll said this was the tomb of a dwarven prince. It might have... Uh-oh. Look at those dick marks. Dredge. Shoots and thorns. I knew the dredge would find this place. That's why I wanted to come right away. 
See, the dredge were once enslaved by dwarves. They'll destroy anything dwarven. Once this cave opened up, they probably flocked here like jackdaws to a bone. Then we better to be specific, hey. they were yeah. enslaved by the Sick. stone sonic. Watch out. is certainly dwarven. Keep searching. Maybe we can find more. Did Gix send you? Send us? Uh, sure. Gix sent us. That's why we're here. Gix. He sent us. <laughs> of this tomb. What can you tell us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come, let's show them the meaning of buried and forgotten. Not much of a conversation. <laughs> Talking tree's gone crazy. Get it off me. I'll tell you anything. Just let me go. <laughs> this talking tree will tear your limbs off, buddy. Is this all you found in the tomb, or did your people destroy some of the relics? Those relics are nothing compared to... We, we tried to shatter it, but we couldn't. It was too powerful. Nothing could harm it. Destroy what? Another relic? One like these? Junk! No, no. It was a sword. We sent it to the southern ruins, hoping to find some way to destroy it. Death to the dwarves! A sword? Hmm. Maybe the writing on these relics will tell us more. I bet Gix can translate it. Let's head back to the Priory and ask him. Talking tree? That's the best he had. I'm more insulted by his lack of imagination. <laughs>
Don't worry about stupid Gix. I'll handle him. He'll be mad for all of 3.5 seconds. Magister Siren, yet again you neglect your duty to go on an adventure. You're completely out of control, you blasted weed. You're very lucky my expedition team needed your help to get out of there. I'm going to go easy on you, this time. But if I ever find out that you ever risk another novice's life on one of your little curiosities, I'll prune your ears. Mark my words. Ah, our newcomer. I'm sorry for all trouble. Siren is something of a firecracker. The novice did very well, Steward. Don't fuss. Look, we even recovered these unusual artifacts. Won't you translate the writing for us, Gix? Don't wheedle me, you leaf addle reparate. Mm -hmm. Why I tolerate him. Oh. oh, my goodness. This is fascinating. Tell me, was anything missing from the cave? Yes, the dredge had taken a weapon from the cave. That's a wonderful guess. Guess something else, Gix. This is fun. <laughs> By the cogs of creation, they took the sanguinary blade. It's a legendary sword made of frozen blood. The weapon was lost when the stone summer dwarves vanished. A sword made of blood? What kind of blood could possibly be made into a weapon? The worst kind. Dragon blood. Magister, novice, you must find that blade and bring it safely to the Priory. We're on it, sir. You can count on us. These artifacts are amazing. The prince's name was Dagnar Stonepaint, apparently, and he was tremendously famous. Famous then? Dead today. He's nothing but a bone orchard now. 